Hi darling, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dr. B. I'm a psychic doctor. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you found this video. I'm glad this video found you. Okay, because in this video, I'm going to be channeling messages on how you can be a better communicator and how communication can really, really help you move forward in your soul evolution at this time. Okay, so make sure you stick around this is going to be a pick a card video in this reading there are going to be four options there are four options you are you're going to choose the one that calls towards you the most okay most especially we are going to be looking at how we can activate our innate instinct our animal instinct to see how we can choose to be how we can become better communicators in different aspects of our lives from our relationships to our from our intimate relationships to our work relationships to our partnerships to our families to our friends even to the work we do and now we express our soul desires and our follow our destinies okay communication is very key and essential to every 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 piece of our lives okay all right so in this video there are going to be four options you choose your deck that calls towards you and then go through the chapters in the description to jump forward to the particular one that calls towards you okay so we've got deck a there are four animal decks here they are going to be chosen from so go for the one that calls towards you we've got deck a deck b deck c and deck d all right so in this video i'm going to be looking at what is your current how is your current communication pattern what blocks are stopping you from communicating the way you need to and what's animal part of yourself what are your animal instincts that you can arouse and activate to help you improve this and also which animal guides are coming to work with you in this aspect okay all right my love if you've chosen your deck let's go into your reading bye see ya if you chose the queen all right let's get into your reading okay so let's see what spirit animals are coming through to help you to improve your communication style all right you've got your styles yeah love okay so this is going to you're being guided to be more loving in your communication okay you're also a bit of a messenger you've got orc messenger here and lastly you've got sea turtle protection all right so if you choose that one these three animals are coming in to work with you so let's see how you can so you've got the love you have to be gentle with yourself you're ill with the power of love see the gift see the light in all things acknowledge yourself for thank grace okay what's also coming through is oh listening to romantic songs is going to be help you to it's going to help you to be more gentle and loving in your communication especially with those in your life i'm saying like right now what i'm seeing is a picture of maybe a spice conflict but it's because there's a bit of cross wires you're not really the lovely dovey person you're not the one that is very romantic in how you talk or how you say things okay and while you might have genuine intentions it's not like you don't love those persons it's just that you cannot be bothered with all the you know romantic beats you try you yeah, someone would rather see it as it is what's coming through is for you to realize that love can be expressed in different ways even if you're trying to be matter of fact about a situation there's a way you can still say it with love by putting yourself in the other person's position how would you feel to hear what is being said how would you feel to hear what is being said okay um spirit is also sending you messages okay so you have to open your eyes to the greater vision you guys might see flashes of images in corners of your eyes you might also i'm seeing something you might be wearing glasses you might have night blindness or color blindness there's something about your eyesight that you think is problematic but it's actually a bit of protect it's a bit of protection maybe you're short-sighted you can't see far without your glasses or without lenses okay um what's coming through is the fact that your ordinary eyes can see beyond the visual scope your ordinary eyes can see beyond the visual scope 
And then lastly, you've got six out of perfection, your master of finding life's flow, be in harmony with the rhythm and your past and your path will unfold. Right now you might be a bit conflicted about what to do. And that's also where your communication skills are coming in for you to improve upon. Alright, so let's see who do you need to talk to at this time. Who are you needing to talk to? Yeah, so as I said, com um, relationship conflict, you guys might be in a sort of um, bickering and um, fighting with your partner, someone you love, someone you are in intimate connection with. And this has mainly been about what you say and how you said it, okay? So at this time, you're being reminded to be gentle with yourself, to also be gentle with this person. You've exchanged some words that have not been to keep, you know, you've not, you, even though you had good intentions, you had pure intentions, quite all right, but the way you said it, your manner of saying it, your approach towards it is what turned this dialogue into a conflict okay and that's what you need to be talking to okay so let's see how can you improve how can you improve your communication with this person how can you improve your communication what i'm hearing based first of all is the fact that as i said go listen to romantic songs um also watch romance movies i know for you what i'm seeing is this 10 person you might be capricorn you might not be but what i'm just getting this 10 Saturn vibes and you're like oh no you can't do all those icky things like but there's something about it towing a part of your heart and realizing that that's also part of love being able to because your partner is someone who wants to be you know sang to you know lovey-dovey um, played with sent poems sent um romantic songs but you are not that kind of person and that's what's causing this conflict in your relationship and this conflict in your relationship is not allowing you to focus on what you need to be doing as part of your destiny it's not like they're distracting you but this work this healing of this communication gap or in this communication wound is also part of what your destiny entails because you have to be willing to to be able to meet people where they are. You have to be able to talk to people where they are. You have to be able to, and even though you come from, don't get it twisted. I hear you saying that, but you do it already from a place of love. Yes, you do it from a place of love, but your approach is very stern, very serious, very, you know, <coughs> You can some people might say you're being authoritative that's part of what your partner is in this relationship you're being very authoritative you're being very demanding you don't know how to be gentle you don't know how to be soft you think it's just your way and no other way <laughs> let's see what are the things that you embody to help you all right so you've got the sword the hunter the castle and the art all right, so what I'm hearing is also, you might also have air placements, maybe Aquarius, Gemini, coming in strong. Um, learn how to balance things. It's almost like maybe you carry out, you carry over the way you approach your work or your colleagues or your employees or your team members. You carry it over to the home and you use a commanding authoritative tone with your partner, which is not to their liking. So you have to learn to balance things, learn to distinguish between, okay, this is work. I have to appear this way. This is home. I have to appear this way. You need to learn to modify how you talk by remembering the environment you're in and by remembering what your purpose is, your vision and your objective, your goals for the different environments you are in are different. What you're wanting from your romantic relationship is different from what you're wanting from your work relationship. So you have to learn to modify your communication style so you don't alienate your partner. And especially, this is especially impacting like your romantic relationship, your home life. You should also try to buy your partner some gifts, maybe flowers, um, jewelry, whatever this person has been desiring. Even if you find it difficult for you to be romantic, I'm hearing buy something and then just write a little note. It can be two lines. That's why I said listen to romantic songs, watch romantic movies. And even though it may feel you will eek at the beginning, it's for you to like, you know, adopt their style, see the way they see the way they think see the way they do see the kind of things they say and maybe copy some of those um you already send your partner a gift um it could be flowers it could be jewelry just send them something you know they will like and they will appreciate that so that appreciate um 
attach a little note preferably handwritten but maybe just two lines you know just something naturally comes from you that's the thing even if you're copying don't just copy something random you find off the internet let it be something that let it be something that comes from your heart that speaks from your heart that really helps because you have to figure out how to end this conflict how to end this how to end this um disagreement between you and your partner and it's all based on how you choose to express yourself what i'm just saying is you feel like okay no you you have to your way is your way your word is your word your word is final and you don't want anything to you don't want anything to change what it is that you're saying you guys may also be very you like taking helicopter view of everything not really getting into the details and the details are where you need to get into you're feeling like oh maybe because you already provide for them why do they need you to be romantic you already do this you already bring home food you already provide the house and all of those why do they need you to also be romantic but you have to understand that everything comes in everything comes together you and your partner you're working together what i'm guessing from a lot of this is this communication um this reading is really to just help you heal your intimate relationships that's where you're having the communication that's where you're having the communication gaps that's where you're really having the communication gaps and the better you deal with it the better you deal with this the easier it becomes for you to achieve things together with your partner because i see both of you have things to do you have things to work on you have things to get on you have things to um focus on you have priorities to focus on and to release all distractions and this in inability to see eye to eye is what is making you slow down not being able to go off and focus on these priorities you need to work on all right let's see is there any healing message for you right now okay you've got positive action I focus on the beauty in me and I find silence. I live and honor the present by doing what I can do now. What I cannot change, I let go of and entrust to God. Okay, so what they are also bringing me back to is the fact that you guys already take a very helicopter perspective. You like planning long term. You are not thinking about the present. All your mind is let me plan the future first. Let me plan the future first. Let me plan the future first. But if the present doesn't go as it needs to, then that future you are trying to materialize is going to change because the future is not fixed. The future is only dependent on the present. All we have is the present. So if you focus on the present, focus on ensuring your own life is good, focus on ensuring that you continue to build a stronger bond with your partner, focus on ensuring that you and your partner are on the same page, you see eye to eye on different things, it's going to allow you to build that future you keep projecting onto. Because what I'm saying is that you're someone with long-term perspective, you just want to focus on less of future planning, less, let me prepare for the future, let me prepare for the future. Forgetting that it's the present that determines the future. If the present does, if the present continues to result in strife and discord, then there's no future, there's no harmonious future you're planning because the present doesn't dictate that future. They are, they are not cohesive. They are not cohesive. All right, my love. Um, so that is it there's really nothing much it's just for you to really work on being more present being more grounded being more open to you love this person it's not like you don't love them but you don't know how to express it you don't know how to show it and that's why i'm saying watch romantic movies listen to romantic songs you have it to explain you it's not like you don't it's just that you become too um should i say too physically grounded you don't want to talk about it you just want to show it but sometimes and then this person you're dealing with is someone who needs to hear how you feel about them a lot more they need to hear how you feel about them a lot more this person might be a water sign this person might be a water sign let's see what's stopping you from not being able to communicate in this way All right, so it's all, it's all from your childhood. Maybe in your childhood, you really didn't have parents that were openly communicative 
openly loving or openly supportive of one another and they are like okay i didn't see that growing up so i don't know what to embody i don't know how to be like that because that wasn't my experience growing up okay um you've got angel michael you're yeah, giving you courage and confidence to be able to face your fears from childhood all these things you're dealing with this your this inability to be present and grounded in present is also from childhood maybe in your childhood you had to fight a lot of things a lot of battles by yourself you had to provide for yourself you had to do things by yourself so right now you're thinking like the only way you can be with your partner is just for you to provide for them without you carrying them along without you speaking to them amicably without you speaking to them in love and respect and that is not going to work okay so at this time angel michael is coming in to help you also improve your communication skills to help you show up even though you are afraid you don't know how you'll be taken you don't know if this person is going to accept you as you are you don't know if this person is going to be there for you you don't know if if you open your heart to this person if they'll always be there but what i'm saying is that all you need is just courage and confidence to be able to face your fears from the past to be able to face your past fears and then to be able to move forward into this new beginning because all i'm saying here is just couples you guys have work to do and none of neither of you can do what you need to do by yourself you can do a bit of it but you'll not be able to do it all so you need your you need each other you need each other you might also be saying nine 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 as well all right let's see any final messages for those that chose their phone let's see how can you improve love okay edge of greatness and projecting it's got edge of greatness and projecting the universe is opening doors for me bringing opportunities my way i don't crumble at the edge of my greatness i take the opportunities that come and walk through the doors with confidence again that confidence is coming in that confidence is coming in giving you the opportunity to be able to approach this your lover with the trueness and the truth of your heart and your intimacy your true feelings projecting as i say you're just projecting and the projection is not because you want to it's just because from your past things have happened in the past in a certain way that's made you feel like it's always going to be like that rather than reacting and projecting my emotions onto others i remember no one is to blame no one is responsible for the emotions that i feel when someone says or does something that brings up strong emotions within me i have the choice in how i respond and that's also coming to this fact that so this current this code of separation between you and your spouse it may be that they said something that just made you respond in a very off way and that's why there's this altercation and you guys are not saying to eye to eye to eye right now you guys are in a period of separation okay this is a no contact this you might be in contact but there's just the separation there's physical separation there's emotional separation you have to be you have to remember to be gentle in love you ill with the power of love you need to see love in all things you also need to acknowledge your own self-worth and grace and your worth that you are worthy of being loved is going to help you in a very very long way it's going to go a long way in healing this um this low confidence you have in yourself and being able to maintain a loving intimate relationship because you feel like you can't do it you don't have the you don't have the template for it you don't have the man or you don't have the blueprint for it because you didn't witness it growing up but those were your parents choices and now you have to choose what you want for yourself all right my love all right baby there might also be a need, you, as I said, you guys are in separation right now. Physical separation is very strong. So there might be a need to travel to go see this person. There might be a need to travel to go see this person. And it, it might be that when you do that travel, when you take that trip, you'll really be able to express yourself in ways that you might have struggled to previously. All right, baby. If you chose the coin. That was your reading. Let me know how this reading resonates with you. If you've not subscribed to my 
channel make sure you do so you stay notified of all my other videos i love you all right my lord so if you chose this deck here is your reading this deck all right let's see these spirit animals are coming through for you at this time okay you've got peacock you may what is coming through is yeah someone who needs to be able to speak in a way that is very yeah yeah you are shy yeah what i'm saying is you're shy you are timid you really don't want to speak out because you don't see how people take you so you rather just keep your opinions to yourself and you have a lot to say okay so you've got peak of self-love it's time to celebrate you and all your magnificent lights yeah someone who hides away from light yeah someone who would rather even though maybe so like for example if you're in class even though you know the answer you know volunteer the answer because you don't want or you'll be telling yourself well what if it's the wrong answer you don't want anybody to pick on you you don't want anybody like you might even be someone who whispers when talking like your voice is very seen you don't want people to hear you you don't pray you don't phonate properly you don't speak with confidence okay at this point in time when you find this right when you find this when you find this video your the peacock is coming in to fill you with pride and self-love to help you see yourself to help you acknowledge yourself to help you fill yourself with a lot of self-love and acceptance being you know you're not being arrogant you're just and you're not being arrogant or boastful you're just taking pride in your essence and who you are because there's none like you you've also got snake kundalini rising channel your creative passion and sensuality welcome to transformation so at this point in time you're you're supposed to be speaking you're also someone who is very creative you might have what assignment placement significance in your chat you're someone who is very creative and right now you're at the way you do things is being appreciated but when they look for the creator or the artist you rather write you you eat you you'd rather hide behind the scene you just want to work you want to let your work be out there but you don't want to speak over your work it's like you yourself you don't even there's something about self-confidence coming through you feel like you don't have a voice or you feel like maybe when you were growing up you were shushed or you saw that those that spoke loudly they got too much attention and then they got they like something about blame maybe all the blame of of things going wrong was placed on them so you decided to be quiet you decided to be timid you decided to be shy what i'm even saying is like your voice is when you speak right now you don't speak above a whisper like your voice is very low very quiet people have to be like oh huh? huh? what are you saying do you understand um right now you've been going through a lot of transformation you've been accepting yourself you've been doing a lot of inner work you've been which has really been boosting your confidence in yourself your creativity has also improved significantly because i because see your creativity is part of you your art is part of you the more you accept your art the more you accept your creativity the more you can become of yourself the more your essence shines so you've been doing a lot of that without realizing that that's even pushing your or boosting your self-confidence and i'm hearing healthy ego because you're someone who would rather speak depreciatingly of yourself like you are not one who would speak up for themselves or fight for themselves you just want to be a wallflower you don't even want to be noticed but you are getting noticed and your art is asking you to stand up as the worthy artist as the worthy creator of the person who is able to bring things from the subterranean realms from the sublime realms from your unseen world into the seen world okay and then lastly you've got the tiger here coming in to remind you that everything is divine timing good things come to those who wait so you've been doing a lot of work in the background and now it's time for you to be seen now it's time for you to be showcased now it's time for everyone to see you you can't hide anymore you can't hide anymore people are seeing your uniqueness people are seeing your beauty people are seeing your individuality people are seeing what makes you different <coughs> People are saying your unique colors, your unique creativity, how you do your own things differently. And at this point in time, Spirit is asking you to take pride in that and stand up worthy of being worthy of your creations. The fact that you are able to be a vessel for your creations to come out through you. 
that's so 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 significant that you're not even taking cognizance of that okay so at this point in time the peacock the snake and the tiger they are coming in for you to embody their qualities the way the tiger shows through the forest he may not necessarily be the king of the forest but it's the one who commands things in a very stealthy way you can the tiger can't hide because you always see the color of the tiger you are bright like that you don't understand the fact that <coughs> because you've tried so much to hide in the past you don't understand the fact how your light is shining through you now because you've tried so much to hide your past and your light in the past you've tried so much to be the one that doesn't draw attention to yourself you've tried so much to be the one that just you know just sees those through the one that is just the wallflower the one that doesn't draw attention to themselves that doesn't want anybody to take notice of them you've tried so much to be that person in the past now you don't even realize that the spotlight is on you so you are so but spirit is saying own up to it. I'm also hearing something about um you wearing orange is really going to boost and improve and upgrade and initiate and activate your sacral chakra. Okay. Right now your kundalini, if you've been doing a lot of inner work, your chakras are coming up into balance. Now it's like okay, this part of yourself is here, your evolved self is all in the spotlight, we're taking the stage, we're standing in the limelight, and you are here, and yeah, you know you need to be this person, but you are afraid to make the move because you feel like when the spotlight is on you, you don't know how things will go, your mistakes will be pronounced. So what? It's your life. And it's high time you start living your life. What I'm also saying is you you recently just completed your Saturn return, so it might be somewhere in your thirties early 30s are significant let's see who do you need to be talking so at this time so wearing a lot of i'm also hearing wear a lot of bright colors oranges purples yellows if these are colors you know naturally wear there are some who prefers wearing like black gray brown colors that allow you to blend in with the crowd and now you're being asked to stand out from the crowd because you're different and you're being asked to embrace your difference. That's what you need to be talking to understand. Yeah. So freeing yourself up. You've been the one locking yourself up. Free yourself. Free yourself. You've been the one imprisoning yourself in your mind. Holding yourself back from being seen. There's a lot for you to do now. As I said, your seeds are growing. The world, what you've been working on is starting to get people's attention. It's starting to be noticed. It started, it has started growing. It has started growing. Your seeds have started growing up and started asking for attention. People are saying, people are saying, who is this person? Who is that person? Who did that? Who created that? Who did this? Who did this? And yeah, yeah, trying to hide yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no more hiding place for you here. Yeah, like a goldfish, right? Like goldfish can hide. I keep being I keep being pulled back to this tiger. Yeah, like the tiger right now. You can't hide. <laughs> your stripes, your colors are just so magnificent. The work you've done, the artwork, the artwork, your creativity is just so magnificent. It's never been seen before. So everybody needs to know who you are. Are you going to deny your art? Are you going to deny your life's work? Are you going to deny your creativity at this time? You can't. So this is actually your fuck yourself. Stop holding yourself back. Release limiting beliefs. Stop holding yourself back. So you're like, you're the one in the prison right now. And this message is just coming to remind you like, you're the one who imprisoned yourself by keeping yourself small, no one's in your life to be seen by being shy. There's a difference between being shy and then keeping yourself away. And that keeping yourself away is because you were not confident in what you're capable of, it's because your self worth was also low. But you've been working on that. That's why you're also seeing this video. This video finds you exactly where you need to see it. You've been working on that a lot. You've been working on that a lot so now allow spirit to walk through you you've been listening to spirit because creativity is you tapping into the soul of the world you be and soul of god you've been listening to spirit that's why you've been able to be this creative that's why you've been able to bring this art forward i'm saying like you're going to be different there's something about you representing a large group of people that you don't even know but your art is going to help people 
identify their own uniqueness as well <laughs> so whether you like it or not you've been chosen as a role model whether you like it or not <laughs> okay so at this point in time whenever you find this video what i want you to do for, what i want you to do for yourself i want you to go into your wardrobe I want you to find the brightest colors you can find and plan to wear them for the next seven days. See how it will feel for you to wear brighter colors. I'm hearing magenta, fuchsia, orange, auburn. Um, burgundy should be the darkest thing, but you can still wear burgundy. I'll give you a pass for that. But no more blacks, no more grays, no more browns, you know, maroon brown, murky brown, no. If you want to wear brown, do beige, do caramel. But I'm seeing a lot of bright colors. Orange, yellow, fuchsia. You know, very, very bright, vivid colors. Colors that make you feel alive. Colors that will force you to be seen. Colors that force you to be seen. You guys might also need to go shopping. You also need to, you've just been holding yourself back a lot. You've been holding yourself back a lot from the truth of who you are. Let's see what archetype can you embody at this time. The peacock. It's time for you to stretch your stuff because there's no like you. Buy colorful clothes. Be proud. Walk with your head high. Be very regal. Embody the energy of the peacock. You are the one. <laughs> I can't make this up. You are the one. You might also be seeing 10 10 a lot. 1 1 1. 10 10 10 okay 10 0 1 10 10 10 1 1 1 so, okay you are the one you are the one there's none like you you are uniquely you this fell on the peacock you are the one you are the only peacock stretch your stuff nobody can do it like you do do your thing your way however you want to do it is your way but you have to do it because there's no like you you are the one you are the one. I feel like ending this reading on this note. You are the one. There's nothing else. You are the one. Come back into wholeness. Come back into singularity. Come back into yourself. Take your throne. Take the throne in your life. No more hiding away. There's no place for you to hide anymore. No more hiding. There's no hiding. There's no hiding for you, baby. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you've got me i allow serenity to reign in me the love i have for myself invites harmony to settle within my being i listen to honor and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul your soul needs you to rise up and shine at this time shine shine stop holding yourself back shine then you've also got shining light <laughs> i didn't want to see that when i was learning to shine shine can you see all the focus here is on you yeah the one shining light my desire to improve myself transforms fear into strength. I raise my thoughts above doubt and find faith in the goodness of the universe. I love and accept myself as a soul and I discover the light that dwells in me. I'm going to read that because these are affirmations for you. My desire to improve myself transforms fear into strength. I raise my thoughts above doubt and find faith in the goodness of the universe. I love and accept myself as a soul, as a soul, as a child of God, as a part of God. Do you think God is I do you think God hides away? Do you think God made the creation and then if God was going to hide away, he will not make yours, he will not make the universe, he will not make the sun, he will not make the ocean, he will not make wind, he will not make desert, he will not make animals, he will not make that's so what we showing off what they are capable of. And you're part of that God that shows off his creations and his masterpieces. So step into that role. I'm hearing visionary, you are doing things in a way that's never been done before. You are opening up a path 
you are leading things you are creating change in a way it has never been done before so you need to step up to that role of being the visionary i love and accept myself as a soul and i discover the light that dwells in me all right my love that's it i just want to end the reading on this note so that you digest everything i've said in this channeled message is your soul that is coming through like speak that thing to them let them hear stop letting yourself hold back your soul yourself is an asset you own it's time for you to upgrade yourself it's time for you to upgrade yourself so it matches your soul all right all right baby so if you chose this deck b this was your reading watch this rewatch it as many times as you need to so that the messages continue to sink in deeper all right my love if this is your first time seeing my channel make sure you subscribe so that you stay notified of new videos i love you you've got this you're the one you're the one of one there's no like you choose this deck if you choose this deck if you choose this deck yes you're reading okay listen which animal there's a tiny for you at yeah, this time all right thank you you've got lion control you've got butterfly metamorphosis and you've got copy on your beginnings okay so my love so if you choose this deck what i'm saying is at this time yeah at this point in time you're very poised you're poised at the edge of new beginnings yeah yourself is in is evolving to better match your soul okay um you are also someone at this time you might be very uh, you might have a very aggressive demeanor. It might be someone who is passive aggressive in how you the things you say. You are, you know, you are used to being the authoritative one, being the one in control, being the one saying things as they need to go, being the leader, being the one who gives everybody advice. It might also be someone who is prone to having like temperamental outbursts, like anger outbursts. You get angry, you raise your voice, you speak very loudly. Even you might also be someone who is very passionate, but sometimes that passion spills over and becomes like temper and angry outbursts there's a lot of angry outbursts i'm hearing you guys might have recently been doing the inner work of releasing all those anger of all the anger you're holding on so that's also why you're finding this video um and then you might it might oh it's also the fact that so what i'm saying is that it's also the fact that your passion sometimes get the best of you and you don't realize that you've started the yelling raising your voice okay so that's very common with you you are yelling you're raising your voice you're trying to say no my own points must be heard no my own no is my way not anybody's way my way or no way do you understand your life and oppressing and at this point in time you're being asked to refine your communication style by infusing more grace more politeness more decorum into it i'm not saying you're rude but it's the fact that you don't want to allow other people to also have a say you feel like your voice is the loudest so your opinion must be heard by means by all means by force or by fire your opinions must be heard you're not willing to let other people you're not really a much of it you're not really a good conversationalist you're not really a good listener okay yeah someone who just you'd rather speak than listen and at this point in time you're finding this reading because you're at this age you're poised for greatness but this new level because you're a leader you're a leader true and true but this new level is going to require you to 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 include to to this to be a bit tactful 
okay to include some tact into your into your words to understand that people also want to be respected people also want to be admired people also want to be praised people also want to be commended okay people also want to be spoken to in a gentle manner not in an overbearing passive aggressive method not with you yelling even though you may feel like you're just being passionate there's something I'm hearing you may say, like, if you can't take the eat, stay out of the kitchen. That might be a favorite saying of yours. But at this point in time, you are changing, you are metamorphosizing, okay? You are changing. This area of your life needs to change to match up with this next level leadership you are going into. With this next level leadership, you guys are at the edge of promising promotions, um... <coughs> There's something about you blowing up, getting bigger than who you are now. You're at this age. But what you now need to work on is on your communication skill to be able to match that of a leader everybody can look up to. Not the one that people will be afraid to work with you or people will be able to people will be afraid to question your decision. Now you're using so much force and you're being guided to come back, release the force. And it's almost like you're being asked to step into your feminine energy. Where you are, where you attract things, where you not, where you naturally attract people's buying into your ideas. Where when you say things, people will naturally want to follow. When when you when you raise ideas, people will naturally agree with you. People will naturally buy in with to what you say. People will naturally see the wisdom behind your words. But now you are using a lot of force, you are, a lot of force, a lot of your masculine energy to try to pass your to try to pass your opinions across, and that's taking a lot from you. What you should be using to that energy that you should be channeling into creating, you are using it to try to communicate and to try and pass your ideas across. Okay, you've got butterfly metamorphosis. Pay attention to the areas in your life or personality that in need of profound change or transformation. You're about to enter a phase of expansion and growth. You're about to enter a phase of expansion and growth, which will be highly beneficial for your future. Okay. Scorpion, you've got Scorpion, new beginnings. You are invited to instigate change, but you are also being warned that this transformation may be radical. Get rid of everything in your current life that can prevent you from improving. Based on this principle, destroy before rebuilding. You have promised the beneficial rebirth, as I said, the beneficial twice. So, this, so. Yeah, someone that maybe people in the past have told you, oh, you have a loud voice, you have a, an ugly temper, or oh, you're you, you feel like you being big is you taking up space. But there's something about the pain being mentored in this world, allowing people. What I'm saying is, you approaching a room previously, you approaching a room, you'd have gone in with much gusto, much force, like you whirlwind, but now you're being asked to come into the room. And let your unspoken energy, let your unspoken confidence, let your unspoken strength, let it attract things to you. Instead of you pouring out your energy, let things be attracted to you. That would be a wiser use of your life's force. That would be a wiser use of your life's energy. Like I'm seeing you now entering a room with arms behind your back, walking in and then all eyes are on you. Not because you're loud, not because you're shouting, not because you're raising your voice, no. But because you automatically come, you automatically pull that respect to yourself. Let's see, what do you need to be talking to? Yeah. You're changing. You guys are moving. You might be getting a promotion to head up a new department or to lead a new team. But the people you work with, they are changing. The community you find yourself in is changing. And these are people you need to. So maybe in your biz, in your company before, you might also be traveling to like a, a new branch of your company. Or some of you might be getting a new role in a new company. And you're going to be leading a new team. A new team, okay. You're working in a new department, but these people might have heard news about you like, Oh, you're very loud, you're very this, you're very passionate, you get angry very easily, you're very temperamental, and all of those. And they're already worried of you. Now it's time for you to change, <laughs> go in there and surprise them. Go in there and be like, Oh, no, I'm not that person you heard of, I'm different now. I mean, you have turned a new leaf, you're still a leader. Don't get me wrong, you are a leader, you're a leader, you're a leader. 
But now you need to change how you communicate in your leadership, your leadership style. Good. But the way you communicate, off, off, off. Now you are not going to use your the volume of your voice to show your strengths. Now you are going to let your words speak for themselves. You are going to let your grace, the way you carry yourself, your elegance. You are going to let it speak for yourself. You are going to let it speak for you. When you enter a room, even though you just enter quietly, all eyes are on you. That's what you want. You don't want to be moving in and shouting and just, you, you know, nah. Nah, now you're big. You're getting big. You're changing. You're getting higher. You're getting promoted. You're being seen by more people. Now it's time for you to change. Okay? Now it's time for you to change. That's all archetypes are you embodying. The orphan. So it might have been someone who had to, when they're growing up, okay, you, you had to raise your voice to be heard. You had to speak loudly. You knew that if you didn't, growing up, you felt like if you didn't, um, some of you might have been orphan growing up, or you might have felt like if you didn't profoundly exclaim your needs, you will not be given attention to. You might have also been a big crier. That's what I'm hearing. Like you felt like you had to get people's attention. You have to get people's attention forcefully. You might have also been a middle child. You felt like you have to get people's attention forcefully. And that's what has carried over into your communication style. Okay? You've also got the storm. So you felt like if you were not forceful, people would not pay attention to you. But no, you're allowing that your forcefulness. You're allowing that your loudness. You're allowing that your uncontrolled passion. You're allowing it to overshadow the good work you do because you're very brilliant. You're a very, very inspiring leader. You make the right decisions. You know how to lead people. You know how to get work done. But you're allowing your loudness to overshadow this thing. So what I'm saying is like pipe it down so that the brilliant work you do, it's already being seen. So, But let it be seen some more. Let it be seen some more. Release the stigma of being the troublesome one, of being the one that shouts, of being the one that fights with everybody, of being the one everyone is scared of. That's not a good, that's not a good, your ear, yourself, your ego might be feeling like, oh yes, everybody's scared of me. But your soul doesn't like that. Your soul doesn't like that at all. All right, so this transformation is upon you. This period of transformation is upon you. Step into this period. Step into this newness. Release your old self. Shed your old skin. Change. Change. Release your old self. You've got change in so many ways. You've got metamorphosis. You've got scorpion. You've got the snake. See, all I'm saying is you shedding your skin. Shed your skin. Yes, thunder and lightning is very forceful. But then, there's this thing about empty vessels make the loudest noise. And you're not empty. You have a lot to offer. But you're just allowing this com your communication style overshadow a lot of things you need to do. But not anymore. Okay, so make an agreement with me. Not anymore. You're changing because for this new level that you're moving into, for this new level that you're moving into, you're going to allow your soul to shine. You're going to allow your work to shine. All right, let's see. Any final message? The spirit is saying there's nothing else for me to talk about. Like, you've got it. It's very straightforward. This is not the first time you're hearing this, but this is the first time you're hearing this from me. This video didn't find you for any reason. This video was not coincidental. You choosing this deck was not coincidental. Okay? All right, is there any final mindful message? Yeah, as I said, you're angry. <laughs> Releasing anger. Releasing anger. Anger is a natural emotion, but I recognize that holding on to it can be toxic for me. I look at the person who has caused me pain and see them as the human being they are. I release the anger I feel and free myself, free myself and expand into love. Release the anger and expand to love. There's also something that came to you guys might have, your workplace might have made you go through, you know, anger management, anger management therapies, anger management counseling, and all of those. 
you might have sought help for it or you might have been forced to seek help for it now i'm telling you like the change is upon you it's upon you to change know why you're changing release the anger what i'm also hearing is the anger is from childhood is from not having a voice it's from not being heard it's from having to fight for survival but now you're no mother child you are the evolved adult self allow your communication style to, to evolve okay so that it matches what your soul wants for you at this time all right, my love. You might be seeing five, five, fives a lot. You might have a fire sign placement. Scorpio energy is also significant. All right, baby, I love you. You've got this, okay? Trust that you can become graceful. You can become polite. You can. You don't have to shout. You can be a better orator. You can speak quietly, and the whole room keeps quiet. You don't even have to shout. Is the power and the strength of your soul that comes through your voice i want you to if you've not gone to try to if if you have the opportunity go for anger management counseling but it's pretty saying this a this first of all this change is primarily what you need to do by yourself don't go and get indebted or transfer all of the all of the change required to be done on your therapist you know that's why like they're saying is visa service see how it works for you but you know you need to change because you're moving to a new level you guys are getting promotion advancements in your work you're getting new opportunities you're getting a bigger team more responsibilities you're leading a new department a new branch office that you have to show up in a different way for because you're the leader yeah, the leader, this is you here. Yeah. Make it seem that people are not afraid of you. I know people are not people are afraid of you, and that's not a good way to lead. Let people want to follow you out of love, not because of fear. Alright, baby. I might have read I'm yeah, you might have read that 48 laws of power or something, or 48 laws of war or out of war. That's not you. Maybe that's what you were in the past, but that's not who you are now. All right, baby, I love you. That was your reading. If this is your first time finding my channel, make sure you subscribe so you stay notified when I release new videos. If you like to book a personal reading with me, the link is in my bio. You can book your reading with me, a one on one personal reading, okay? I love you. You've got the All right, my love. If you chose this deck, here's what you need to know on how to improve your communication style, okay? This deck if you choose this deck <laughs> first of what i'm feeling is like yeah someone who might be funny people may see more of like a jokester you feel like people don't take you seriously um there's also some comments about you maybe having a sing song voice so you like singing listen what animals what animal guys are coming through for you Spirit animal, <laughs> you've got well spirits, trust the great mystery. Six to five, you might be seeing six six six, you might be seeing six five six five, you might also be seeing five five five. Okay, you've got well spirits, trust the great mystery. As I said, your voices, you might be someone who likes singing, who likes using your voice, even though for some of you, maybe you might have been told like you don't have a very good singing voice, but you like singing, you do love singing. Um, at this point in time, you feel like your voice is not being heard. You feel like people don't take you seriously. I feel like people don't take you seriously. Your voice is not being heard. And that's why you're being, things are not yet clear, okay? This, this is a communication reading, but it feels like a current life reading for you at this time. So let's see. All right, you may feel like Things are not being there. A lot of things you need to do. You might be a talented artist and you feel like, okay, the world has not heard you or they don't know what you're capable of or people are not buying your your mixtape or producer. They are not getting, they are not seeing the value of your voice or what you bring to the table. What I'm saying is like talent, but you're not, you feel like you're not being appreciated enough. But this time you're saying to trust. There's also something about you going deeper into your studies. So maybe you need to go deeper into like voice coaching. Bring like there there depths of you that you've not yet found. 
that's why you're like there are depths you've not yet found you feel like you have a very good voice and but there are still levels there are tenors there are skills you can produce with your voice that you've not even honest you've not even known that you are capable of reaching those levels of reaching those of reaching those skills of being able to produce those skills and it's like spirit is saying i don't want people to have a false value of you or to have a false picture of you when you go down i'm hearing baritone when you go down when you go deep when you bring out what's from the depth of your soul boom that's power right there <laughs> so now you may be feeling rushed you may be feeling arid that when is it going to be my time and are people going to when are people going to hear my voice? But you are being invited to go into the depths right now. Yeah. You're being invited to go into the depths right now. Things are not things are not clear. Things are not as the same. There's still there's still work for you to do. You guys, when you're saying this, it might have recently rained or stormed in your area. Okay. You need to go down. You need to go into the depth of your soul to harness the voice, to harness the power. So right now, yes, you can. But is that the best you can do? No. Are you midway through? Yeah, kind of. But the fact that you're feeling like this is the best you can do is keeping you from going deep. It's keeping you from going deeper. It's keeping you from harnessing what's from the depth. You know, singing skills have not been heard before. So that's why it feels like things are not... Because right now, it feels like you're trying to play. You're trying to do what has been done. You're not trying to do what you need to do. You're just doing what has been done. What, what is common? What is normal? What is everybody is doing? But what everybody is doing is not what you're supposed to be doing. Your own power is found at the depth. There's something about the depth of your soul. And going through this journey is going to be radical. It's going to transform you. It's going to bring out things from your soul. It's like you need to connect with your soul. Now you're at the surface level. You need to go deeper, connect with your soul. And from there, the power you exert, you assume, is going to be so great that the world has no choice but to stop and listen. That the world has no choice but to stop and listen. I'm also seeing like right now, as you're seeing this video around this point in time, things might have suddenly felt like they took a egg dive, like things are not working as you wanted them to, or things are not moving as fast as you want them to. But Spirit is saying, I need you to focus on if all the noise and the distraction and all of those is cleared out, what is left for you to focus on? What is taking, what is requiring your attention? What is left for you to focus on at this time? What is left for you to focus on at this time? You need to go deep. You need to go deep. The eternal child. The storm. Again. Lightning twice. It's like you think about it this way. You have just one opportunity to show the whole world what you're capable of do you think right now you are the best or you're the height of your skills of your gift of your talents no you're not you're not the poet as i said you are someone who sings who writes music who produces beats the often might have also been pulled to watching the last video all right so do, we are being prepared for if you have just one opportunity to show the world what you are capable of. Do you think right now you are ready? No, you are not. And it's also not a matter of readiness. It's also it's just the fact that that it's like treasure inside you that you've not yet on earth. So whatever you are showing the world is just the is the basic is the superficial is the base of the basis is the basis of the basis you need to go deep to tap inside to tap within to bring out things from the recesses from the riches from the treasures of your soul 
it might have been there's also something about you like it's like leaving yourself on a combat and feeling free as a child not trying to make it like okay this kind of music people are listening to now this kind of lyrics these are kind of rhythms no scrap all of those if you add no blueprint if you had no way if you didn't feel like the industry is regulating or the industry or this genre or this thing or this thing it has it needs to be in this field because this is what is socially acceptable or this is what everybody has accepted if you didn't have a way of doing it if you didn't know how to do it how would you do it how would you approach it what i'm saying is like a child who has never seen a piano before and then he's seeing a piano what do you think the child do he will look around see yourself as a child you will sit you will start playing like oh this 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 um key makes this sound if i press this i hear the sound if i press this i hear the sound if i press this i hear the sound think of yourself like that child and allow yourself to explore stop holding yourself back because you go with just one life to live. Stop holding yourself back. Let yourself be free. Free as the birds. Free only in combat of excuse me. Only in combat of um what the music industry expects, what the genre expects. No, sing from your soul. Sing like a child from your soul. Sing like a child from your soul. Let's see. What alien message you need to hear right now? You've got a new opening. When one door closes, so as I said, things right now feels like things are taking a nose dive. You, you, maybe you're expecting a contract or you're expecting some positive word back and then you didn't get that. Okay, so you've got a new opening. When one door closes, I am confident another will open and it will be for my betterment. I accept that life brings challenges and acknowledge your... I'm hearing you say, how did she know I was musically inclined? <laughs> it's not my <me>, spirit. <laughs> okay. When one door closes, I am confident another will open and it will be for my betterment. I accept that life brings challenges and acknowledge the opportunity and learning they present to me. Serenity comes from within. Serenity comes from within. Serenity comes from within. Okay, so at this point in time, you are being invited to go deeper. Don't stay on the superficial level. Go deep. Go deep and say, what is this situation trying to show me? This no I've gotten, it means there are better yeses in front. This no means, oh, I'm not yet playing to my strengths. This no means that, oh, I'm trying to do what everybody's doing. This no means that I'm not being unique. This no I'm receiving means I'm not being unique enough. I'm not showing my voice. You know that it factor. You've never brought your A game to the you've not brought your A game to the table. That's all I'm hearing. You feel like you, you are still you are still trying to you're not you're not you're not yet bringing your true self to the game. When you bring your true self to the game, the strength of your soul will shine through. The treasures, the skill only you can reach will shine through. The songs only you can sing. The songs only you can sing are still deep within you. They are still deep within you. And you need to give your inner child the permission to come out and express itself. Cast off all restrictions of the music industry, of the genre you play, of your producer, of your label. Of, cast off all of those things and reach within for the song of your soul release today i release limiting beliefs harmful thoughts toxic patterns and anything out of alignment i am ready for transformation and i welcome this shift i am creating space for a new chapter filled with love abundance and amazing opportunities this is a new chapter opening up for you. This no is simply taking away and clearing away all distractions, 
all the noise, all the distraction. That's what this, you know, and that's what this chapter, if you're that close, that's what is being cleared away. You're being put, it's like you're being placed in the pressure cooker now. Like, okay, bring the one from the depth of your soul. It's what is in the depth of your soul, your sacred song, the song of your soul, the song only you can sing, the skills only you can reach, the words only you can write, the song only you can write, the lyrics only you can speak, beat, rap. The, the one only you can do that's what your soul wants you to bring out and it's there it's there you just need to go deep you just need to go deep all right my love so that's your reading okay <laughs> if this video found you and you chose this deck trust the great mystery trust the great mystery of your life trust the great mystery of your life Trust the great mystery of your life, okay? All right, my love. Um, let's come to the end of your reading. If this video resonated with you, make sure to leave a comment, okay? Like this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you stay subscribed so you're notified of new videos. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link is in my bio. The link is in my bio. I love you, baby. You've got this. And I can't wait for you to... And when you release this song, I can't wait for you to be like, hey, that song from the depth of my soul, I brought it out. Yay. I'll be so, 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 so. And I'm, right now, I'm so proud of you because you're choosing to go deep. And your soul is so proud of you. The whole universe is awaiting the song. We love you. Thank you for choosing to embrace your spirit and your wild self. <laughs>